Uh, <laughs> Alright, and three, and two, and one, and you can look for it. Right? Uh, uh, Connor Kelly, everyone calls me CK. Uh, number eight, I play goalie, I'm going to Notre Dame. Joe McCallion, a uh, plethora of nicknames, Wait. number three. And uh, Matt Walters, uh, I play midfield. Uh, Matt Walters, um, number seven, I'm a midi, and I'm going to Syracuse. Um, Chris Huffelt, I'm attackman, I'm number 22, and everyone calls me Huff. And I'm going to Penn. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Walters, I'm a midfielder, I'm number seven, and I'm going to Syracuse. <laughs> and action. I'm Joe McCallion, I'm number three, I'm a midfielder, I have a ton of nicknames, and I'm going to University of Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, uh, Connor Kelly, I'm um, number eight. Everyone calls me CK. I'm um, a goalie. I'm going to Notre Dame. Carl yeah. Morath, number nine, attack. I'm going to Virginia. I'm Moore Bailey. Everyone calls me Russo. I'm number five. I play defense. I'm going to Georgetown. Mm -hmm. Brennan McGrath. I go by Huff. I'm number 11. I'm a midfielder. And I'm going to Princeton. It's how fast you're hitting that thing. And now I'm going to come and get a shot. Things. Uh, it's stucco, right? And all right, I'll just do five, four, which I, you know, how, I don't know how he knows that, but he knows, and he's, that's really, being like rough cut, you know, like, oh. It's almost like you could be a goalie if you. Yeah, somewhat. Not only do you throw hard. Three. Games, you know what I mean? I mean, you, you, have a, you have a limited amount of... Just do a little bit right after that. Let's... Um, you guys accomplished something nobody else has ever done. Certainly at Haverford. And uh, I read my quote in the paper today, and I stand by it. We were tough, and we were unselfish, and guys didn't care about themselves. And in, a, in sport, that's the most important thing. Okay, and you guys go home and you sit around the dinner table, you, you know, your parents are like, well, how come you didn't, how come you weren't on man up, or how come you didn't play, you know, whatever. You guys put all that stuff aside and did what you needed to do. And we were 23-0 and and the best team in the country. And in my mind, probably the best lacrosse team ever to play the game since they started doing all this stuff. We played hard, we made plays when we needed to make plays, and then at the end, when we, you know, when we, we did what we did, we had one guy stand out the side the huddle, and I'll, I'll remember this forever. And it was Carl. He's like, just don't panic. Just, hey, hey everyone, don't, don't worry about anything. And in his own mind, for the first time, and I've been telling him for years, I'm like, dude, why don't you just, why don't you just play so hard that when you walk off the field, everyone's like, who is that guy? And he did it a lot. But he really did it that night. And in his own way, he's like, don't panic, don't panic. And really, what are you saying to all you guys? He's like, get the fuck out of my way and give me the ball. <laughs> and he scored two goals within 40 seconds. And it was awesome. So the senior leadership this year was unbelievable. So you guys have the world in front of you, the young guys. Older guys, get it done. Don't forget your base. Don't forget what Coach Loving and Coach Patron, Coach Marcel, and uh, Coach O'Grady taught you. Cause Bottom line is, if you work hard, nobody can take that away from you. Um, and, and my wife, she said to me all summer, it's over when I say it's over. Why wouldn't we be the number one team in the country? Why won't we do it again next year? We have the talent, we have the farm system, we have people coming in. Tonight's a celebration of everybody. We got Scudder. How the hell did he get into Lehigh? How did Chris Ryan transfer from Pitt to Lehigh? Anna's Lee's at St. Joe's, Scranton, Liam, Notre Dame. Anytime Notre Dame recruits our guys, they're all Jewish. All right, Liam's the first Catholic guy they recruited, so he went. And that cup right there, T, I'm going to get that cup. And I'm going to say that this thing is the culmination in a lot of very good shape of a lot of hard work. God bless you guys. Thank you very much. No one will ever be able to take that away from you. So you guys do all your stuff. You do Under Armour, you do the Under 19, and guys don't make it. Well, guess what? People don't, they don't like people that are good. They don't like people that are successful. So Philly is one of the best regions in the country this year 
We have five guys try out. Nobody makes a team. How many Long Island guys made it? Ten. Are you shitting me? No one will ever be able to take away what we did as a school, as a team. You know, I don't know how you guys did it. I don't know how you got through Wilson Hall, how you got through Garnet Valley and the, whenever that was, the Bailey Brothers and Matt Walters, okay? <laughs> but we did. I guess they'll never rep for me again. I think the refs were a complete joke. Yeah. So, uh... And Haverford gets it going, first quarter action. This is Sam Roar, the little left-handed midfielder. Splits the D, comes in shot, and it swings oh, its way Sam in. Roar. Sammy Roar. Assisted. Haverford again in their commemorative blue jerseys. Inside shot, goal. Carl Walrath to Henry and Blinn. Henry Blinn. Because they, Haverford is winning face This is a demonstration Hup, Hup, gonna have flip from it. My goodness, Hub! My goodness! And Haverford has it now. Good time to dodge and transition. Hub Hub felt working the left side. Inside Hup, shot and a goal. Hold Hup, your nose because here goes the cold water. Joe McCallion again with a faceoff win. Darian face going with their third faceoff guy, Luke Fraker. Shot and a goal. Joe McCallion. Walters up top. Moving this is it a demonstration of That is Matt. Brent Tomlinson. Yes. Good shot goal. feeds it inside. And Gavin McBride. Oh, sting oh. me a corner, will you? Yes. Holy Moses. Brendan McGrath slinging it. Ball comes out. Britain can't corral it. Inside move. Goal. Nice play. Zach Haverford Diego. schools. Shot. Goal. Brendan McGrath. We play St. Paul's every year, first year of the game, and it's always like a good, uh, a good way to start out. Because if you get like a nice win, uh, you know it's a big game, and you know it's just a good, good way to test to see like where you guys, where, where our team is in the beginning of the season. So I think that's always a good, a good part, a good way to start the season. And this year we were down at halftime, and. Uh, I think they, they uh, ended up scoring. It was 10-8. We were up by two until we came back in like the third quarter. And uh, then they ended up scoring with not much time left. And it was 10-9. And we had to win the faceoff or at least tie them off until time ran out. And we ended up doing that for like a tight win. Yeah, they were, they were probably one of the best teams we faced offensively. I just remember like going down the bus, just sitting next to Warner. And um, just thinking about the game, like all the hype uh, going into the game. Like us being number one. Like all the magazines and stuff. And then... Uh, Having to go out there and prove it for the first time, just as a team, like was huge, and like uh, we started off, like everybody was real nervous, and uh, like we had turnovers and stuff, but that was, uh, like we knew that was gonna come, but and we never really panicked, and like at halftime we were down, and um, I don't know, just with our team, just found a way to win it. This is a demonstration of flip for Matt. This is a demonstration of flip for me. This is a demonstration of flip for Matt.
This is a demonstration of flip finesse. This is a demonstration of flip format. This is a demonstration of flip from that. 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 This is a demonstration of flip for me. This is a demonstration of flip for me. This is a demonstration of flip from that.